Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are looking at Strongbow Rosé Cider. Now Sean, sure. what do you think of this beautiful drink my friend? Well, it looks very pink Jonathan. Would you say it looks like a rosé? It does, it looks like a rosé. It's a lightly sparkling rosé cider made with blush red apples for a refreshing cider that's best enjoyed cold. Lovely, I put this in the fridge. Me too. It's like I enjoy drinks cold. Normally put them in the kettle first and boil them. Did I thought I'd break with the tradition and go in the fridge instead. <laughs> yeah. What's the percentage on this one, mate? This is a 4% alcoholic beverage. Two units. And it has no artificial flavours, sweetness or colours. So all this is all natural, baby. Shall we have a little sniff first? It smells like a, uh, a pink strongbow. It literally just smells like strongbow. That's true. It does. A pink one. Does it smell pink? It smells pink. This smells like a pink combo. Let's give it a pour then, mate. Looks nice. Nice little pink tinge to it, isn't it? Nice looking drink. Looks like uh, a Copperberg. Yeah, it does actually, doesn't it? It looks like a, uh, a mixed fruit. Now, does it taste like a mixed fruit? That's the question. That is the question. And shall we try it? I'm a thirsty man. Ching ching, baby. Ching ching. Drombo rose going in. That's actually pretty good. I was expecting just to taste like normal strombo, but this actually tastes pretty decent. Yeah, it's okay. Perfumey. That's exactly what this tastes like. Perfume. Perfumey. Is that a word? It is a word. There's a, there's a little bit of an aftertaste to it, isn't there? You know, it's a bit of a sort of, I don't know, a kind of <laughs> a red apple aftertaste. Yeah, I go with that. Pleasantly surprised with this. There's a clear difference in there between a red and a green apple. This does taste like a red apple. It does. I can taste the red apple in that. A pink lady. That's what I can taste. A lovely pink lady. Sean loves tasting lovely pink ladies. Doesn't have to be pink, just FYI. Three words. What are you thinking? Rosy. Surprising. Pungent. Uh, yes. How about yourself, my friend? My three words are perfumey, with a Y, fruity, definitely fruity, and smooth. It's, I think it's a lot smoother than the original Strongbow, definitely. I'm not a big fan of original Strongbow, to be fair. It's quite a nice, smooth drink. I agree with that. Considering it's a, it's a Strongbow, and even the dark fruits, is, you've got that bitterness to it. But this, you don't have any bitterness. This is a much sweeter drink than both Strongbows. When you consider that this one, there isn't any kind of frills with it. It's not, like you say, it's not a dark fruit. It's not like, oh, Strongbow flavoured with this, flavoured with that. It's just Strongbow, maybe red apples instead of regular apples. Yeah, but I quite like it. It doesn't remind me of my youth, which the other Strongbows do. This reminds me of chilling out, having a drink. I would drink this now and again. This is quite a pleasantly surprising drink. It's quite nice. I did not have high expectations going into this, but this is quite nice. I'm quite enjoying this. So our three points that we score, price, taste, and longevity, are they not? They are indeed, my friend. That's three. John, price. How much did you pay for this? £2.20, I believe. Something like that, around that mark. I'm pretty sure I bought this for a quid. £1? I can't remember exactly. I think it was when they, like, when it was first launched. I grabbed a bottle for us to review before the world went crazy. For a pound, I'm happy with this. £2.20 again, just kind of standard price in it. Yeah, it's not bad. If you're looking for a, a red apple cider, then this is the one for you. Until you try Cotterberg or Thatcher's. I don't know, we haven't tried them yet. So we've gone for the price already. Middle ground. This is a 500ml bottle. It's not too bad. Again, it's standard cotton biggy price, isn't it, really? That's kind of where it's aiming at, that kind of segment of the market. That's where it is. So, yeah, price is okay. Not exceptionally good. Well, mine was, but I don't think it's fair to market exceptionally good based off mine, which is probably like a launch offer when you paid £2.20 for it. Yeah, very good. Taste, surprisingly good. For me, anyway. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite fruity, quite smooth. I like it. It's, it's pretty decent. Yeah, I'm happy with this. On Javi, again, I don't, I think the smoothness of it, I don't think I'd get too sick of it. It's not my favourite drink, but I think it's quite an easy drink to drink, so I think I could drink quite a few of these. I don't know whether I'd want to drink a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, I could have maybe three or four, maybe, if that's, if they didn't have any better choices. How about yourself, mate? What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. I, I, it is a surprising drink. I, it literally just tastes like red apples with a touch of the strongbow taste. It hasn't got the bitterness of the other strongbows, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Nice summer drink. Yeah, it's not a drink you would go to the shop to buy, but if you went to a pub, you wouldn't be like disappointed. You'd be like, oh yeah, I 
yeah, yeah, good album though. That's quite nice. That's better than standard trombone on the draft. I'll have a, I'll have a bottle of the rose instead. Just not kind of drinking, mate. Agreed. What do you think it is the score for this one, mate? Score? <coughs> I'm thinking, John, a 7.8. What about you? I was going to go 7.5. I was thinking 7.6 in the beginning, but I went up just because of the smoothness. You know, it's a smooth drink, nice tasting. Nothing wrong with it, really. Yeah, there isn't a lot wrong with it. It's not, it's not an exceptional drink, but it's a good drink. It's that 7.65 is the average score. That's pretty, that's pretty fair. It's, it's not a bad drink, it's a nice drink. I was not expecting that much from this, and I am pleasantly surprised with it. Yeah, that'll do. Slightly worth the hype, it'll do. Absolutely, if, like you say, if you are somewhere, probably in your house, <laughs> in this summer, and you are struggling for a drink and you've got one of these there, have it, it's a nice drink and it'll go very nice in a beer garden or in your garden or at your kitchen table on your own because that's what we do now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching guys. See you later.